What's up guys? Uh, lately we've been getting a ton of questions about uh, single panel saddles versus two panel saddles. Uh, so we wanted to do a quick video uh, just explaining uh, the difference. This is not a video pushing one over the other. We have a single panel saddle and a two panel saddle uh, and, and people based on personal preference love them both. Um, so this is not a two panel pitch, but this is meant to be an explanation as to the difference between the two different uh, options. So uh, here's our single panel uh, classic saddle, right? So you can see that this is all one piece of material uh, and you have a top strap and a bottom strap and they're a fixed different uh, distance from one another. Uh, if we look at the two panel saddle, uh, the method, you'll see that you have two separate panels, right? Uh, you have a top strap and a bottom strap, but they aren't a fixed distance from one another. So that is uh, arguably the biggest advantage of a two panel saddle is that you have the ability to change the size of your seat, right? So you can change this distance between the top and bottom panel. Uh, so you're effectively uh, changing the location uh, of pull on your saddle, okay? Uh, whereas with a single panel saddle, this distance is fixed, like I mentioned. So this is the size of your seat. Your bottom strap is always gonna pull, you know, 16 inches from your top strap or whatever it may be, but this distance is fixed and that is going to be the location of your pull. So I'll show you why uh, a two panel gives you a little bit more flexibility because you're able to change that distance. So in the videos I did recently uh, running through the different saddle adjustments, uh, we talked a lot about uh, direction of pull and how we can alter that direction of pull uh, with tether height and the position of your Prusik knot uh, on your bridge loops and uh, bridge length right. And so um, getting comfortable in a saddle is all about altering uh, the direction of pull based on your body type and balancing the weight distribu distribution between your feet uh, and your butt. Now the advantage of a two panel saddle is that um, you get an extra dimension of adjustability. So uh, I can go through all these adjustments and I can change the direction of pull, um, but with a two panel saddle, I can also change the location of that pull on my body. So let's say uh, I want a little bit more pull uh, from below. Uh, so I'm gonna move my, my Prusiks down a little bit on my bridge loop. And okay, so, so now I, I'm feeling it more in, in my butt and I don't have as much back, back support. In fact, I can't even really feel the top of my saddle because I took so much pressure uh, off, of, off of my back or the top of my saddle. And uh, this would occur the same way with a single panel saddle. If I move these down, I'm gonna get more pull from below. The difference is, is with the two panel saddle, I'm able to uh, set this top panel lower. And, and what, that, what that allows me to do is, I, I've changed the direction of pull, right? Because I wanted it more below, but now I'm also able to change the location of that pull. So I was able to move this top panel down and now I can feel support in my lower back. So that brings me to another question we're getting. Is a single panel with a back band the same as a uh, two panel saddle? Uh, the short answer is, is no, it's not. Um, and, and the reason for that is exactly what I just explained, right? So if you're altering the direction of pull with all these adjustments that are connected to your saddle, right? single panel or two panel, but your back pan isn't attached to your saddle, you're not adjusting any direction of pull with your back band. So these two panels moving independently of one another allow you to change location of pull. If you wanna use a back band with a two panel saddle, you can, but a back band with a two panel saddle is probably gonna be more, more comfortable than a back band with uh, a single panel saddle just because you have that added dimension of adjustability. Now, like I said in the beginning, this is not a plug for two panel saddles. This, uh, we just, we had to explain this because we're getting asked constantly. Um, so uh, that's the main difference. 
uh, between a single panel and a two panel saddle. The two panel saddle gives you an extra dimension of adjustability uh, and you're able to not only change the direction of pull in your saddle, but the location of top and bottom pull and you're able to do it independently of one another. Um, so anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. I know that um, uh, you know I can get a little rambly and this stuff's complicated, especially if you're just uh, starting out. Um, so if you have a follow-up question, leave it in the comments. I'll answer it, I promise. Uh, but anyway, I hope this was helpful and uh, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.